dear students today we are going to discuss about the design various topologies using cisco packet tracer already we completed bus topology ring topology and star topology now we are going to discuss about the next type it's a tree topology so what are the things we covered in bus topology ring topology and star topology just you keep remember the points what we discussed and what are the advantages and disadvantages we covered in each time and the same way we have to understand how the tree topology is working here the tree topology again it's look like a tree structure so here i used totally 7 pc and the ip address of each pc it's a start from 192.168.1.1234567 and, and here that first pc number 1 it's connected with the, the switch this port it's called as central hub or switch what it mean the entire network structure is depend on the central hub so it's central hub or we can use switch and either hub or switch it's act as a central part of the entire network structure here the second level so just i used the central hub bar switch as a root node and the sub node of our network structure it's called as secondary hub or switch so when we are expanding the network structure either level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 we can expand as much as possible we want to establish our connection there is no restriction we have to stop it only level 1 on level 2 we can expand as much as possible as we need so the main port or the root node it's called a central hub and the remaining the nodes which is considered as the secondary level of the repeater or the secondary level of hub or switch now it's coming to the, the major advantages of the street topology here we can easily increase or we can easily decrease the the traveling time of each node what did mean here for example if i try to send the data uh, from pc number 2 to pc number 4 in case if i try to send the uh, data from pc 2 to 4 we no need to look at the the remaining part of your network structure the traveling the path it's only it come to switch number 21 and 22 it come to that is pc number 4 and here for example if i try to send the data from pc number 3 to pc number 7 again the pc 3 it's send the data to switch 24 26 and come to pc number 7 the main advantages of tree topology we can reduce the the traveling time or the traversal time of our data if you are expanding for example two more levels 
we no need to depend on the the data is transferred from for example start from root node and it reaches to the next level next level next level it's not like that wherever we want to transmit the data simply just place a message and the data it's immediately transferred through the path and it reaches to the the immediate respective node so it allows to decrease the the traversal time of each node it's one of the major advantage in tree topology and we can easily expand the level of your network structure that's the next important part and it's coming to the, the problem in the tree topology here already i mentioned that we can easily transfer the data and the travel set time is less but here in the tree topology the major port or the entire network structure it's depend on the central hub or the root node so here if the root node is fails so definitely it will affect the entire network structure so always we have to check with the central hub so if the central hub makes any problem definitely it will affect the entire network structure so for example pc1 try to send the data to for example pc4 here the entire the part of this the left node it's uh, depend on the central hub it's only one cable which is connected with the central hub and the, the only one cable it's depend on the remaining entire network structure here the same way it's coming to the right side the central hub it transmit the data and the entire the remaining nodes it's a depend on only one cable so we have to always check with the central hub and if the central hub is fail to transmit the data again it will create big problem in the tree topology and it's coming to the the next the disadvantages of the tree topology so the cost of the cabling is high is compared to the other topologies so how much uh, the level we are expanding the same way we have to use the the cabling so the cost of the uh, the cable is high it's compared to the other topologies so simply just if i compared with the star topology and tree topology here the star topology we used only one central hub and the central hub it's uh, connected with all the remaining pcs so in the tree topology we are already using the uh, the cable which is connected with pc to switch again the switch which is connected with the other switch we are using one more cable so whenever we are increasing the number of cables definitely it will be reflect in the cost so this is the major part we have to consider in the tree topology now i will show you how the data is transferred in the tree topology just i am placing a message from pc1 to pc4 and now i will show you how the data is transferred here pc1 transmit the data to switch 21 and come to 22 switch 22 so here i already mentioned that the central hub it's the major part of the tree structure so here the entire part it's the depend on the only one cable which is connected with the central hub okay it's come to this the message is successful the same way you can transmit the data to all the nodes so for example now i am going to place one more message from pc1 to pc3 now look at the difference 
so the pc1 it's repeating the message i will show you one more message so if the message is repeated pc1 send the data to switch 20 and again the previous event is executing okay just i will explain why i am sending the data from pc1 to pc2 right now look at that uh, the message i try to send the data from pc1 to pc2 the entire the remaining network it will not transmit any data and even we are not worrying about that the remaining part of your network stretcher so it's our target is it's a pc1 and pc2 well, we no need to worry about the remaining part what it's working what's the data is transmitting over the network so it's simply transmit the data from switch 20 and reach to 21 and come to pc2 so that's the one of the advantages in tree topology so that's the reason i mentioned earlier the travel set time is very less it's compared to the other topologies so i hope this information is useful to you all thanks for watching